Hey guys, what's going on? It is Would You Rather Friday. It's a little more late than usual. My apologies. What's up, Mr. I Try Hard? What's up, Kelly? What's up, Kelly's channel? Good to be here once again. Friday, best day of the week. TGIF, all that good stuff. Can't wait for these good questions. You know, Friday really is a good day. Like, even before Would You Rather, it was still decent. But now that it has Would You Rather, it's just like the most awesome day ever. We had, like, here in Montreal, it was pouring rain. And even, like... You know, people's moods usually usually get down on, on, on days like this. It was like, nah, screw it. It's Friday. I'm in a good mood. I'm happy. We got Would You Rather tonight. You know, fun, fun. Yeah, it's been raining here, too, like, for, like, a week. <laughs> well, screw that shit. Yeah, what the heck? I kind of like rain, though, so. Mm. Anyways, would you rather stay in your dream world forever, so whenever you're having a dream, you can stay in that world forever, or have your imagination come to life? Easy, easy. Give me the dream because my imagination. What? Yeah, yes, yes. All right, here, just hear me out. My imagination goes to these like fucked up places sometimes that like if they were ever to happen and be true, I would either die or get like mine would totally be blown. It would just it, I don't know. It just wouldn't be fun. It would just be really awkward and crazy. Whereas my dreams. Like, I have a lot of sexual dreams, so I could be like, yes, let's have this dream of sex and just be like, let's live it all the time. What about happy. nightmares? I don't, I'm not really a big nightmare guy. Uh, it'll usually, it's either like a sex dream or it'll be like some really weird thing that's happening where like a unicorn is there and I'm flying on it and shit. Like, it's just whatever. It's just good fun to me. Okay. Yeah, see, I get nightmares every once in a while that are like really horrible. And so <laughs> I would never want that to come true. But now that I've thought about it, like what you said about like your imagination, like have you ever just, I don't know, had really horrible thoughts like in the, I don't know, maybe you're talking to someone and you're like cooking and you're holding in your, a knife and you're like, oh, what if I stabbed this person right now? That would be fucked up. I have that when I'm driving a car and there's another car passing me, like uh, going, going the opposite direction. I'm like, what if I swerved into this car? What would happen? I have that a lot. It's just really weird. I like I probably just get rammed and die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't I'm not violent, but sometimes I have weird violent thoughts. Yes. And it's kind of creepy. So I want like I wouldn't want that to come to life, but then again in my dream world, like they're not always good dreams. So, Kelly's repressing anger and like violence. <laughs> most <laughs> No, most of my imaginary thoughts are awesome. Like it's just all good stuff, you know, I I keep it you know, happy for myself. I don't like think, oh, what if I died tomorrow? That would be so horrible. So, so true. I think I want to choose the imagination just because I don't want to have like any of my nightmares come true or even some of my weird dreams that aren't necessarily scary, but they're just really just too weird that I don't think I'd want them to happen. So, Fair enough. Yeah, that's how I feel about that. So, all right. All right. Would you rather have your skin be all scabs? So, like, your skin is scab. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know. Pretty gross. Yeah. Or all acne. And I mean bad acne. Oh. <laughs> I know. It's horrible. It's... I think I think I'll take the scabs on this one. I mean, acne, like, it probably wouldn't look as bad. But just the fact that, like, you would just bump up against something and you would pop a zit every, like, time you bumped like, oh, across something. Oh, yeah. But, but you might see, you know how scabs can be where, like, you kind of bump them, they'll start pussing? Yeah. Or bleeding? That's yeah. pretty gross, too. Yeah. I, like, okay. Have you watched these, like, YouTube videos of, like, these weird people popping these, like, huge zits? Oh, yeah. They, like, never end. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm my God. Imagining. It is so fucking disgusting. <laughs> I, like, don't know how it's possible. Like, I watched one. This guy was popping a zit. Well, his girlfriend was popping a zit for him for, like, five minutes. And it just, like, there was so much shit. Oh, my God. Like, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. It, it like, makes me want to puke. I know. It, it's it's just totally disgusting. I don't like pus and all that stuff. So I think I'll, I'll stick with, like, scabs and blood. I think there's less pus in scabs. I think I'll, I'll be safer that way. Yeah, I'm going to go with scabs uh, because... I don't wait. Okay, listen. Hear me out here. I kind of like popping zits. Uh, it's kind of <laughs> you don't like popping zits. Do you like popping your own zits or popping somebody else's? Oh, I zits? don't like. It has to be my own. 
Okay. Yeah, only no, I don't I don't really like doing other people's like Alex asked me to pop one of his back zits before. You know how like sometimes you get back zits? Yeah. yeah. And that was pretty gross. Like I did not enjoy that experience. But I like doing my own, like it's kinda of fun. But at the same time, I kinda of like picking my scabs. Is it is it because you, you enjoy like the pain involved with popping the zit? No, I just like I like watching it spurt out. And then like <laughs> it's so fucking creepy and gross. Oh, I know. This is such a gross conversation. And then also like if I have tweezers, I'll try and like pick it out and like you know how I don't know if you've ever had this happen, but like it's usually for smaller zits, you can just grab it with tweezers and just pull it out all at once and it doesn't really pus at all. It's just like a little like it looks like a little bean full of like pus. I know what you mean. It's like you pull out the root of the zit. It's like it's totally gone. It's it's yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I love doing that. Oh my god, that's disgusting. But I, <laughs> I, I completely understand where you're like where you're coming from here. Oh my god. All right, comment section. Please <laughs> tell me I am not the only one who enjoys this. Also, picking scabs. Like I don't know. Maybe the scab thing. It's just like something to do. I'll be bored and I'll just be like, oh, I have a scab there. Let me, you know, relieve my boredom by like giving myself pain and like picking at it and giving myself a scar. That will be fun. There's probably somebody listening to this right now popping a zit, just saying. And picking scabs. That too, but that's disgusting. I, I, I would never touch my scabs. It's just, I don't know, I don't like that. I don't, they like bug me. Like, they get all hard and stuff, and then I itch them, and then pick them, and I'm like, ugh. I don't know. Nope. I'm weird. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's just, let's go to a happy question, all right? Yes, please. Would you rather have a shrink ray or a growth ray? Ooh. Yeah, I mean, they're, both of them could be used for, for good things. Growth, gr- yeah, okay, growth. Well, um, I knew you were going to choose that. For tits. <laughs> I'd be like, huge tits on you, bitch! And just, like, just grow her <laughs> immense boot. I don't know, it'd just be funny to me. Like, make her ass, like, eight times the normal size. Just oh for no God. other reason. She falls over because her ass is too big. I don't know. Maybe I'm a child, but whatever. That's how I would be, like, I wouldn't take it seriously, I don't think. I'd, like, I kind of want the growth ray so that I could, like, make myself really big and then just, like, become Godzilla and just start... <laughs> oh, okay, oh, oh, so you want to make yourself, like, buildings huge. Like, that's how big you want to get with yeah. this ray. <laughs> yeah. Dear Lord, You're just like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm just picturing you, like, hanging from, like, the Empire State Building, grabbing at airplanes... I don't know. No, I'd be shooting my growth ray off. <laughs> <laughs> and making other things bigger. Oh my god. No, no, that no. That could be a lot of fun. That would be fun. But now that I think about it, like, I'd probably get, like, missiled in the face. I, like, it wouldn't end well for me if I became Godzilla. So I'm thinking maybe I'll find, like, the worst person ever. Like, maybe, like, I don't know. Someone... Like, I don't know, someone no one likes. Like, a pedophile, maybe. Probably. Um, a serial murderer or something. There's gonna be someone in the comment <laughs> section that's gonna be like, Pedophiles are people, too! Fuck <laughs> Respect all the pedophiles! <laughs> they have rights! <laughs> no, they don't. But I would make them the size of Godzilla, and I'd be like, Alright, go go climb all the buildings. What if they you want to make children? A... No, maybe you should make them small. Idea. Like, make him, like, ant big and have, like, all the, like, babies that, like, they raped, like, step on him and shit. It's, like, payback. That's kind of a good idea, too. Like, mm-hmm. it could... <gasps> that could be a new death penalty. I know a lot of people are against the death penalty. Um, I, personally, I think people should rot in jail. But this could be kind of interesting. Yeah, it death by baby stomp. De- Ooh. Or baby roll. Do babies really stomp? I guess not. Well, I mean, I don't think... I think... It would be older kids, like at least five or something. I don't know. This is getting weird. This is really awkward. Yeah. Or you could get the shrink ray and just shrink people's dicks. Because I know like how much men have like this obsession with penis size, so I think it would be really funny. We, we only have an obsession with penis size because you make us think that it's really, really important when in fact it's really not. Hmm. Uh, well, saying. it would still be it would be so fun with a shrink ray. Just <laughs> it would, people. it would. Like you'd make a guy's penis like a half an inch, and he'd be like, "But it's supposed to get bigger." It's like, "Nah, sorry, son, your penis small." And as as soon as he says it's supposed to get bi- bigger, I'll just shoot it again, and then he has no penis. 
<laughs> you have a mangina now. <laughs> All right. All right. Would you rather have a playlist like an I- what like playlist like on an iPad? Sorry, they worded the question a little weird. Of sex position, so like you can like hit shuffle Ooh. and like random things come up, or have any song play during sex, so it just would come on, whatever. Kelly, did you have you ever seen? Okay, here like somebody, it was a chick I knew. She had bought these dices from a sex shop, and if if, if you roll the dices, it didn't have numbers on it. It had a position. Yeah, I've seen and, those. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like that's kind of like where you're going at and I like that I like that a lot as, as, a, as a matter of fact the whole like song nah I'm... you could do that already yeah exactly you could just give her a fucking iPod let her listen to that shit <laughs> just give her some headphones <laughs> her... no no wait. you can share the headphones like I can have one earbud and she can have the other <laughs> it'd be really weird we like our heads couldn't get that far apart but still it'd be funny well, what if the play like we don't know what kind of positions are on this playlist. Like, what if, like, the, you know, you hit shuffle or you hit next and something really weird comes up, like, I don't know, a gorilla <laughs> and it's penetrating where you would not like to be penetrated? I feel like that could get dangerous. This position requires you to jump up a tree. Now, I don't know. It, you know what? I'll try anything one with sex. Uh, I'll try anything once with sex. Let me say that Gorilla? Right. Dude, don't hit on gorillas. They're furry and shit, and God knows, maybe, maybe, maybe they have talents that we don't know about, and you don't even know. All right. All right. Also, fun fact: I don't know where I learned this, but <laughs> female penguins, like a specific breed of or species or breed, I don't know, whatever, they prostitute themselves for pebbles. So. What a bunch of sluts! Yeah, little penguin sluts. <laughs> Get in there, pebbles. I heard this on the radio today, or I think I read it on Twitter, that female crabs uh, used, like, broken pieces of wood near the ocean as dildos. Wow. Just saying. Crabs totally off topic, it. but I'm just, that's weird. Crabs get down. Crabs, <laughs> man, they, 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 they be hoes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> How did we, we, like, randomly ended on animal facts? In fact, worst. I think that should become a normal thing. Either the worst or the best ending to Would You Rather. Oh, the best. Who doesn't <laughs> like sexy animals? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Group right. hug. Yes, group hug. All the sex the <laughs> horny animals. I don't know what I want to call them. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.